Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are planning and cash stuffing my boyfriend's paycheck. So context, my boyfriend's a server. He pays himself out his tips every two weeks, so he will hold on to them and then every two weeks he will pay himself those tips. So it kind of works out like a paycheck. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Okay, so here is his paycheck. This will be covering December 22nd through January 4th. And total his paycheck, if you guys remember, his last couple of paychecks have been rather bare. Um, I mentioned in the last video where I budgeted his paycheck that we weren't sharing it really at all because there was only two categories that he was actually cash stuffing for, which was groceries and gas. It wasn't even the full amount. Um, we noticed this pattern that in between October through November and even leading into December where his tips at his restaurant that he's at just kind of decline a lot. And so it's just a struggle time for some reason with that restaurant. And so, um, but this is his first paycheck where he not only like has enough plenty for all of his categories, but then also some to go ahead and nicely cash stuff into his savings. So this time around, his total paycheck came out to be $13.97 and 11 cents. So that is great for him. And that's definitely more than enough to cover all of his bills, living expenses, and then again, some with savings. So first we have pumpkin. He didn't pay pumpkin on the 16th. This is before <laughs> it's already passed. Um, it's actually more so that I forgot to go ahead and send him the Venmo request like I normally do because I, our cat's insurance is in my name. And then I normally send him a Venmo request around that time for the amount that he owes. Um, I just kind of forgot to, so in turn he also forgot about it. So that total is going to be $21.68. I don't know why I was trying to write there, but it was not correct. <laughs> um, the 25th is supplements, which comes out to $75. HBO Max is going to be $9.99. Actually, I'll have to ask him about that one. I think he may have canceled it. Rent will be $300. Storage is going to be $87.51. And last is gym, which is just $30. So total this comes out to $524.18 with the leftover amount of $872.93. Over here, we have our variable expenses. Grocery shopping is getting 150. Gas is getting 100. Eating out is getting 60. Miscellaneous is getting 10. Oh wait, no, 20. I don't really do 10 for miscellaneous. Fun is getting 50. Sora is getting 20. Hair is getting 10. And the total for all of that is going to be $420. And then the leftover of the $420 subtracted with this $872 is going to be $452.93. Then coming down here to savings, emergency will be getting $100. Secret is also getting $100. 100 envelope will be getting $45. Travel is getting $50. Christmas is getting $102.93. And then Buffer is getting $25. And then if HBO Max is not actually coming out, that $10 will just go back into his Buffer. Total of that will be $422.93, which should leave $30 left, which all of that will go over here into his Synchrony credit card. And so that makes his total $30. And that also makes this a zero-based budget. He's definitely excited about the setup. I just asked him a little bit earlier today. I said, so are you excited that all of your categories are officially 
full plus some and he was so excited. Honestly, there were some paychecks where we were only doing 40 for gas and 100 for groceries. Like it was getting down really low. Um, pretty insane that this is kind of a weird pattern, but it happened last year. If he, for some reason, is still there this upcoming year, which hopefully he's not because he is in school for graphic design and will be done in May. But if for some reason he is, um, I guess we will try to better plan for that. But yes, very excited for him and he's excited about this. So let's go ahead and do some cash stuffing. If you guys have been enjoying this video so far, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leaving a thumbs up. When I tell you guys the amount of cash breakdown slips I am missing because this man will just not return them to me, is beyond me. So right here though, should be $515, I believe. So we have 51, 52, 50, 270, 90, 310, 30, 50, 70, 90, 410, 30, 50, 70, 480, 90, 500, 510, 15. Perfect. All right, and then here's his binder. Still in love with his envelopes, like how stunning. So let's first go ahead and empty this out, which I think he should be mostly empty. Can't imagine that he actually has anything still in here. Yep, all empty. Okay, so we are gonna do groceries. It's 150, so 120, 45, and 50. Gas is going to get 100, so I just have 250s for him, which gas for him recently has been $40, I think, to fill up. So that's been exciting. He's been very excited about that. So hopefully he has some, like, leftover gas money after this paycheck. Eating out is getting 60. Hair is getting 10. He did just get a haircut recently, so his hair is empty. Fun is getting 50. And then miscellaneous will be getting 20. Okay. Next we have sinking funds. So we do share a couple. So one of them is our cat Sora. So he will be adding 20. Sora has 50, 70, 90, 100, and 5, which is perfect because our cat Sora will be getting groomed at the end of next month. So super excited to have that stuffed and ready to go. Um, the next one will be Prime. He's starting to add to Prime as well. So we're going to get our Prime well budgeted before it comes out. So now Prime has 10, 20, 35, and 6. My Prime comes out at the end of March. So should be good with that. Um, yeah. Clothes, hair, savings challenge will be getting $45. As I mentioned in my last video, I believe, I will be cash stuffing this with my next paycheck, so this upcoming week. But right now, uh, Savings Challenge has 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 1, 2, and 3. So almost $200 to add into Savings Challenge. And then this last 50s, actually, I'm going to put it in this us envelope, but it is going to go towards a road trip we have this upcoming week, which I'm so excited. Um, I had shared in a video in June about how we went over budget for one of our trips in June. And it's the same kind of trip. We're going to go visit these same friends. And I'm hoping that this time we do not go over budget with almost spending $400 in eating out. So I think we might be budgeting still about that 400, but making it a little bit more realistic. So um, I will make a, another plan and what actually happened probably sometime in January. But it was really fun sharing that the last time you guys were went crazy in the comments because you were like, I can't imagine spending that much eating out. 
I couldn't until I did and then didn't even realize because I wasn't properly tracking. But yeah, so we're excited to do that. Um, we will pa uh, pull more cash out for that as well. But he had that 50. So I said, you know what, we're leaving literally in just a couple days. Go ahead, we'll leave that out and then we'll just pull the, le uh, the rest later. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think this was a relatively quick one, but his kind of are. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!